In this video, we're going to talk about homogeneous first-order differential equations. And we'll start with the definition of homogeneous functions. A function is called homogeneous of degree n if the following equality takes place. f of tx dy equals t to the n times f of x y. It means that if we replace x and y in the initial function with tx and ty correspondingly, we'll obtain a new one in which t to the nth power can be factored out and the other factor is the initial function itself. Now let's see if these three functions we have on the board are homogeneous or not. And to do this we need to substitute tx and dy instead of x and y. So f sub 1 of tx and dy goes tx plus t times 2y. Obviously, t can be factored out, so we'll have t multiplied by x plus 2y. Or I can write it down as t multiplied by f sub 1 of x and y. Because what we have in the brackets right here is nothing else than the initial function. t right here is taken to the first power, as we can see. So this means that this function is homogeneous of the first degree. Let's move on to the second one. f sub 2 of dx and dy equals t squared times x squared times sine of dx over dy which is equal to t squared times x squared times sine of x over y and what we have here is the function f2 now t is taken to the second power, so this means that the second function is homogeneous of the second degree. Now the last one. f sub 3 of dx and dy equals dx plus dy over dx. We can factor out t in the numerator. So we'll have t multiplied by x plus y over dx. And now we can divide both top and the bottom by t and obtain x plus y over x. And this means that the third function, f3, is homogeneous of the zero degree. Because basically what we have here is the initial function multiplied by t taken to the zero power. Now, first order differential equation of this form is called homogeneous if both p of xy and q of xy functions are homogeneous of the same degree. Let's consider them. So we have p of xy function and q of xy. Now we can write, it, write them down a little bit differently like this p of x times 1 and x times y over x. And the same goes for the q function. q of x times 1 and x times y over x. Now, since our equation is homogeneous, these two functions are homogeneous of the same degree. The following statement is true. So, 
p function is equal to x to the n times p of 1 and y over x. And the same goes for the q function. x to the n times q of 1 and y over x. As you can see, nothing has really changed here. We basically multiplied both x and y variables by 1 here and here. But this little manipulation right here allows us to transform the initial functions, which are the functions of two variables, into the new functions, which are now the functions of one variable. This variable is a complex one. Here it is, y divided by x. But still, these new p and q functions are the functions of one single variable. Let's denote it as q equal to y over x once y equals u times x. So basically now these functions P of x and y and q of x and y take the following form x to the n multiplied by p of 1 and u and x to the n multiplied by q of 1 and u And now let's substitute the functions in this form into our equation. <clears throat> so instead of p of x, y, we have x to the n times p of 1 and u. And we know x to the n times p of 1 and u dx. And then instead of q of x, y, we go x to the n times q of 1 and u dy equals 0. But since y is a complex variable, dy differential must be found as a differential of a product. So dy equals du times x plus dx times u. And we can substitute this, this expression into our equation as well. x to the n times p of 1 and u du, I'm sorry, dx plus x to the n times q of 1 and u dy and dy equals this expression. So we multiply by dy, I'm sorry, du times x plus dx times u. Let me write it down somewhere. So dy equals du times x plus dx times u. And now this equation equals 0. Considering that x is equal to 0, we can divide both left and right sides of this equation by x to the n and obtain the following p of 1 and u dx plus q of 1 and u times du times x plus dx times u equals 0. We can now open these parentheses. So we'll have p of 1 and u dx plus x times q of 1 and u 
du plus u times q of 1 and u dx equals 0. We can now factor out dx. So we'll go p of 1 and u plus u times q of 1 and u dx plus x times q of 1 and u du equals 0. Now, this differential equation is an equation with separable variables, which means that we can collect all the x's and the x differential on one side of this equation, and all the u's and du differential on the other. Example and the index number. 